Good day, everyone, and welcome to our presentation for the Southern Science Conference 2024. Today, we will be exploring the topic of computational thinking and science value, predictors of senior school physics students' science identity in Iloran, Nigeria. I am presenting this on behalf of myself, Yahaya Wasiu Olayinka, and my colleagues from the University of Iloran, Akanbi Abdulrazak Oladimeji, Yahaya Quadri, and Yusuf Abdul Quadri Aishat. Let's begin with the key concepts underpinning our study computational thinking, science identity, and science value. We will also be discussing the structural equation model used in our analysis, drawing from key references like Chung et al., 2022, Ogegbo and Ramnarain, 2021, and Anjali and Giannikos, 2020. Our main goal here was to determine whether computational thinking can predict the science identity of senior physics students. The specific objectives of our study are twofold. First, to determine the prediction of physics study identity through the dimensions of computational thinking. And second, to assess whether this relationship changes when mediated by science value. For our methodology, we conducted a correlational study using a descriptive approach. We selected senior students in their final year using a simple random sampling technique. In total, 243 students responded to our survey. The data was analyzed using multivariate techniques, particularly structural equation modeling, which is ideal for studies with large data sets. This table outlines the demographic breakdown of our sample, where we see a slight majority of male participants. Now, let's move on to the results. We analyzed the relationship between computational thinking skills and science identity. As seen in the table, most of the path coefficients show weak, positive relationships, but none are statistically significant. For example, algorithm skill had a coefficient of 0.075, which was not significant. The same was observed for cooperativity, creativity, critical thinking, and problem-solving skills. This suggests that these specific dimensions of computational thinking do not strongly predict science identity. In conclusion, our findings indicate that while there are weak positive relationships between computational thinking and science identity, these are not statistically significant. This suggests that other factors beyond computational thinking may play a more critical role in shaping students' science identity. Finally, we would like to acknowledge the schools and students who participated in our study, as well as our colleagues who supported the data collection process.